Let's discuss about the leading coefficient of the standard form. Leading coefficient of the standard form is nothing but the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared in this case is given as 1 and the coefficient of x squared in this case is given as minus 1. Here it's plus 1, here it's minus 1. These are the leading coefficients of the given quadratic function. This is the value of a here, this is the value of a here. These are called the leading coefficients. Then because a is positive so we get a graph which is open upwards this describes the openness of the curve of the quadratic function so because a is positive the graph is open upwards and exists like this here a is negative so the graph is open down and it exists like this similarly if a is more positive for example instead of a if it is instead of 1 if a is 10. So more narrow is the graph corresponding to that. Similarly, here, if a is more negative, so instead of minus 1 if a is minus 10. So more narrower is the graph. So graph will be more narrow, it will be existing like this. Instead of a equals 10 if the value of a is say 1 by 10, graph is more broader it exists like this. Similarly, in the second case, if instead of minus 10, if a is minus 1 by 10, the graph is broader and it exists like this. So more is the magnitude of a, narrow is the graph, less is the magnitude of a, whether it's positive or it's negative. The absolute value of a, if more is the absolute value of a, narrow is the graph, less is the absolute value of a, broader is the graph.